Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing a bonus reading for you guys because you had the most views of all the signs last week. Um, I am going to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone and also the energies can reverse or flip-flop. So as you can hear, I am a little bit hoarse. Um, I don't know why I feel fine, but my voice is uh, trying to dip out on me here. <clears throat> so, we're not going to let it, though. Here we go. Spirit, can I have the energy of cancer? Energy of cancer. Energy of cancer. All right, Cancer, you are starting with the Hanged Man. You have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. And you have the Four of Wands in the reverse. Okay. So some of you guys are waiting. You're waiting for something here. For some of you, it could have to do with finances and money. Um, but for others, you're waiting for some stability to come in, something long-term. Um, you're waiting to find that person that you are going to be able to connect with on a long-term basis. Something that will lead into a, a committed connection. Um, let's see who's in your energy. Show me who's in Cancer's energy. <clears throat> Show me who's in Cancer's energy, please. Somebody that doesn't want to give up their energy, that's for sure. There we go. All right, we have the Six of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles reversed, and the Three of Wands. So this person is waiting too. The person in your energy is waiting because they want success. Now, they may have experienced an ending, but... For most, this person is waiting for this Ace of Pentacles to go into the upright. This is a committed connection. This is a stable, committed connection. So, you're mirroring this person a little bit here. Yeah, they're, they're waiting for a successful Ace of Pentacles. They may be waiting also on, on money. But both of you are waiting for this stability. Both of you are waiting most likely also on financial things to, to kind of come through. I feel like you may have been waiting a little bit longer for this, Cancer. Let's see, um, let's see the energy between the two of you. The Eight of Swords reverse. Both of you having freed yourself from an energy where you may have felt trapped and confined, unsure of what to do, um, possibly having freed yourself from another commitment, especially your person here. They may have freed themselves from another commitment, um, maybe having freed them, freed either you or them having freed yourselves from obsessive thinking about someone or something. What's directly con uh, affecting this connection? Show me. <clears throat> Show me what's directly affecting. Seven of Swords, Knight of Cups in the reverse. So you've experienced, I feel like this is a new person. Um, you've experienced deception in love. You've experienced somebody who was deceptive, who wasn't everything that they said that they would be. Um... And I feel like you've ended something because of that. 
the other person, the person in your energy, has the Knight of Cups in reverse. They are withdrawn emotionally because of an ending or because they may be fearful of being turned down. You may be fearful that there's deception involved in this. So both of you are coming into this with some baggage, whether it's a, a person from your past or it's a person that's new, each of you are coming into this with your own fears. You fearing that there may be deception, that this person may not be who they say they are, them fearing being turned down and rejected. Let's see your outcome at the end of the week. Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's going to be communication, movement. Um, things going to things are going to travel fast between the two of you. Um, this could be movement within this situation. It could be um, travel if this person lives a distance from you. If they're if they live a distance from you in particular, this person's making plans. And they will travel to see you, I feel like. Um, it could be just in communication. I feel like you're going to be happy about it, though. But there's going to be movement in this situation. Definitely communication. I do feel like the person that you are, that's connected to you, is they are making plans regardless of how they want to handle this. Because they want a successful outcome. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles. This is underlying energy. And this speaks to someone who is holding on to past baggage. Um, I feel like it's shared energy. It's, um, it's being, um, you know, holding on to that energy because it, in some way, you feel that if you do, it will protect you. And I feel like both of you may be doing that a little bit, um, but it's you have to realize that it's fear and not um, not protecting you. It's actually keeping you from from engaging in life. Let's clarify. It's difficult for me to see if this is a new person or it's the past person. So it, it literally could be either. We'll see what happens as we clarify. Spirit, why is the hanged man here? <clears throat> I do see mirroring between the two of you, though. And I do see it culminating in communication. And it's going to be back and forth. And it's going to be... Um, ooh, that flew. It's going to be back and forth. And it's going to be... Um, when it happens, it's going to be very rapid. All right, we have the Three of Cups reversed. We have the Moon. Oh, Cancer, you're waiting to be happy. Oh, that's kind of sad. Okay, so, yeah, some of you have gone through a really, real sad period here. And I see that um, you're unclear. You're unclear of what to do. There's unhappiness. Some of you guys are isolating. You're not going out. You're not socializing. You're kind of, uh, you're in this period of suspension, almost like you're cocooning. And in that cocooning, a lot of you are transforming. But there's some, there's, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if the Five of Cups comes out because there seems to be, of, of unhappiness here. And it's like you're waiting to become happy again. Let's see why the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. <clears throat> why is the Ten of Pentacles reversed? All right, we have the Hierophant reversed, and we have the Six of Pentacles. Sign of Taurus, by the way. 
Yeah, so I do see an ending here of something that was a long-term connection. And it was because you were being breadcrumbed. I feel like there was deceit involved on some level. And I feel like somebody may have been giving their attention to more than one party. And so I feel like you said, mm -mm, no, I'm not doing this. This person may have also, they may have also um, been unfaithful to someone else and involved you in a third party. You were waiting for them to end this, this connection, but instead they, they were being deceitful about it on some level. Some of you, you wound up with somebody that was more of a commitment phobe. It wasn't so much a third party, but they were, they were not committing to the connection and breadcrumbing instead but still trying to keep you hooked in. Why is the Four of Wands in reverse? Mm, there's that Four of Coins. So you're definitely holding on to stuff from the past here, Cancer. And it's, it's uh, internally, you, you, you're doing it, I think, subconsciously because you feel like it's going to protect you. But in reality, it's, keeping you from engaging. Oh, but you're going to release it. Look, you have this Eight of Swords again. So we have the Eight of Swords reversed. We have the Four of Coins. Okay. So you're showing and you're reading very strong here. Um, and it, it ha has to do with, um, with this ending and waiting for this person and waiting for this person to commit, waiting for this uh, to turn into something that, wow, I just heard something you could believe in. Isn't that in a song? Waiting for something I can believe in. But that's what I heard. So you're freeing yourself from this, but subconsciously you're holding on to some, some pieces of that. You're, you wanted to celebrate. You wanted to have this, this union with this person. And I think it, it became almost an obsession at some point, but no longer. You're not allowing that any longer, but you're still kind of holding on to it. It's a subconscious thing. Let's look at this person's energy. Let's see who this is. Why is the Six of Wands here? Queen of Wands reversed. Eight of Cups. The Emperor reversed. Some of you are dealing with a soul, a uh, spiritual connection. And the Nine of Coins. They want success with you. So this person knows Wow, this person knows that they put you in a third party situation for some and for others they took no action the the commitment phobe, and so you walked away, you made yourself single, and they're looking at you being single, looking good, glowed up, you know transforming because. The nine of coins can sometimes be the empress in a lower vibration. So they see you evolving. And they know with the emperor in reverse, particularly if this is a spiritual connection, they know that this was because they lost control of this situation. Now, if this is a spiritual connection and a, or a twin flame connection, which is a spiritual connection, they realize that they put you in a position which was beneath you. They, they did not give you the title that you deserve. They put you in a position that was not appropriate and that 
that is why you walked away from this. And they also, they also know that it's their error, that it was their doing that caused this. The divine masculine would be on this side in that case. Yeah, let's see, um, why is the Ace of Pentacles? They now want success with you, and they see you having this success in your life as well. So they're viewing you as being highly successful. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? You have the world. So this is your, uh, this is a previous person. We have the King of Pentacles reversed. Either, either this is a previous person or it could possibly be somebody that is new, but they've observed this, they've watched this happen. It could be someone you've confided in, someone that has seen all of this go down. Whoever it is, is aware of a situation that you've gone through, Cancer. So this person is wanting to wrap up a cycle and begin something new. The cycle they want to end is this ending that has occurred between the two of you. It's on both of your energies. Again, that mirroring that I'm seeing and they want to begin again, which would be the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. They want a stable new beginning with you. So this person is trying to end a cycle so they can begin a new cycle. If they live at a distance, again, I'm seeing for some of you they do, they would like to travel. Now, with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, it's very similar energy. They realize that they haven't been what they should have been to, to you and this connection. But it can also indicate that they are leaving a previous connection. And they, they're, they're going to want to end that so that they can come forward to be with you. Why is the Three of Wands here? We have the Strength card and we have the Five of Wands. So they're making plans to come forward to talk with you. But I feel like um, they're trying to avoid conflict. So they're waiting because of two reasons. They're wait they've been waiting because of pride. They've been waiting because they're afraid of conflict. They fear conflict. This person does not like conflict. So instead of just kind of manning up, because we see them in the reverse here. Instead of kind of manning up or womaning up, this person is kind of sitting back in the shadows planning. And they are in regret. I mean, this is the energy of regret. I really do feel that this is the energy of the previous person. It, it's possible that this could be someone else. It is possible because I do see a, a timeline where this is someone who is aware of what has taken place. And they're waiting for that cycle to finish between you and this person. And that's what they're waiting for. They're waiting to... Um, because there's competition. They feel there's competition. So for, a, but that's not for most of you. That's only for a few of you. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, why is the Eight of Swords in reverse? Page of Swords. Four of Swords. Yeah, you, you haven't been communicating with this person. So if it's a new person, if it's a new person, it's somebody that you don't talk with very much. 
and they've, they've just kind of watched. But for like 95% of you, I'm telling you, this is that previous person that's been in your energy. I do see both of you having healed quite a bit. So, and the connection is healing. I see you um, kind of spying um, because you don't know what this person is up to. And it's usually in those moments when you're feeling unhappy or you're isolating yourself, you may go and look to see what they're doing. It's perfectly normal and I would not be, you know, I wouldn't feel bad about that. I think that's normal. We all get curious, especially when our heart's on the line. Um, this person is manifesting you. They know that they have treated you incorrectly. They know that they've treated you badly, that they lost control of the situation. They don't really like you being out here single. And they want to have success with you. So they're manifesting success. I feel like you would like to talk with this person. But both of you have this energy of releasing previous baggage. I think you more so, I feel like Cancer, you're, you're more so releasing this person. They're not. They're, they're, they realize this was their error. Um, let's clarify what's affecting. We have the lovers reversed. We have the three of wands reversed. And we have the nine of swords reversed. Both of you are tired of this waiting game. Yeah, both of you are sick of waiting. You're both waiting. And you're both tired of waiting. You're both evaluating the relationship to, to determine if there is a future for, for each of you here. I can see that when you're evaluating this, you're factoring in that this person was deceitful, that the two of you weren't on the same page. There was a decision for a lot of these, a lot of the people, um, a lot of you guys who had someone, they had a decision to make between two and you feel that they didn't choose you, that they chose to put you in a third party. For others, that they chose to breadcrumb you. That when it came down to it, they chose not to commit to you. And that you feel deceived. You feel as if this person led you down one path and then withheld from you what it was that you wanted, what they had promised, even if they didn't say the words outright, they had led you to believe it. And some of them did say it outright. So you feel, you feel deceived. This is what you're factoring in. What they're factoring in, they're tired of waiting as well. And I feel that they are very afraid that you're going to turn them down because they are manifesting you. They know that the responsibility for you walking away lies upon their behavior, that they did not take control of the relationship, that they let it spin out of control. They want desperately to relieve themselves of this negative impact that that this is having on them they want to be able to come out from under this anxiety i feel like this person sits up at night and and they they worry they lose sleep they they have tears some of them actually have tears and they want an end to that they want to end it they don't want to be afraid that you're going to turn them down. But they know that they have to end something else for those that 
have involved you in a third party. They have to end something else in order to come towards you. And for others, they, they know that they have to bring legitimate commitment when they come towards you. So they're trying to end this, but they're afraid that you'll turn them down. And so they can't seem to pull themselves out of this anxiety. All right, let's see the Eight of Wands. Let's look at your outcome. So we have the Seven of Cups. We have the King of Wands. Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We also have Gemini here. Gemini is pretty strong. Earth signs are here. That would be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Leo, strong, Virgo. All right, so we have the King of Wands and we have the Hermit in reverse. We have the Knight of Swords reversed. And we have the Ace of Swords. So there's going to be communication, possibly travel if this person lives at a distance. They've been waiting to do this because they've been in fear and you are kind of holding on to a grudge a little bit, even though you're trying to release all of this energy. It has to do with that lack of commitment and the lack of things moving forward. For those of you in a spiritual connection, it has to do with the fact that the union never happened. It never came through. There's going to be communication about this stuff. Everything that, you know, all of this. There is going to be confusion that occurs because of the communication. It's going to cause both parties to look at options. Options could be discussed. I see you, you're, you're definitely very attracted to this person, but you're in a very high energy cancer. And I see you, I see you taking action towards this person. And I see you sharing with them the insights that you've had. I see you revealing to them the things that you have discovered in this journey. I see you, you know, bringing, bringing forward a lot of communication. And I feel like, um, I feel like it's going to give you a sense of, a sense of, I don't want to say closure because it's not the right word. It's going to relieve that feeling of, of darkness, though. This feeling of non-joy. You're, you're going you're gonna to be happy about it. But happy isn't right, the right word either. It's going to be a relief. It's going to feel like a relief. I'm not sure they're going to fully understand what you're telling them. But you're going to feel a relief. Because it, you're going to unburden yourself of these things you've been holding on to. Now, on their side, they are so fearful that there's going to be an argument here. They're going, when they come in, they're going to be very careful with their words. They may not be speaking their entire truth in the beginning. So be aware of that. And that's going to cause some confusion. It's not that they're trying to be deceitful as much as it is that they're trying not to cause an argument. And as 
as the conversation moves forward, you will get the truth. You will get the clarity that you're looking for. They're going to give you truth and clarity from their perspective. Some of it's going to be confusing to you. So the two of you are then going to be looking at options. Let's see what kind of options are there. Let's just look. Kind of uh, clarify the Seven of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Yeah. Okay. So the Seven of Coins. Yeah, there's going to be all this communication. And it's the two of you are going to communicate also about options in investing whether or not it's a good idea whether or not you want to whether or not you're going to there's going to be a patience here you may be asked to wait a little while longer they might you might be asking them to wait but there's going to be a patience in this conversation and there's going to be discussion of options whether or not either of you want to invest into this again it's just going to be a lot of uh, a lot of discussion for sure, and it's on both sides. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords has to do with third party energy. It has to do with pain. It's coming out here with this Four of Pentacles, and it's underlying energy. And what this tells me, Cancer, is that. It's what you've been holding on to that is going to cause more pain. So you're going to have the opportunity to talk about this, to release it. I encourage you to do so. Even if this person is not somebody that you want to be involved with again, I encourage you nevertheless to take the action with your approach because I feel like this person will approach you. Their desire to come towards you is much stronger than your desire. I encourage you to hear them out. I encourage you to let them know how you feel in order that you don't carry that with you any longer. Doesn't mean you need to be with them or that you want to be. I'm going to pull some uh, oracles. Thank you, Spirit. All right. <clears throat> we have self-indulgence. Focus on self, self-worth. It's time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Yeah. Focus on you. We have soulmates, soulmate or soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. Yeah, I think you are dealing with a soul contract here. And then we have mask, not showing the true feelings, hiding, person, uh, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. And I'm seeing that down here in the very beginning of this conversation. But then I think you're going to be persistent. You'll get to the truth. Be aware that this person, they're hiding because they're afraid. There's a fear here. They're, it's a fear of rejection. It's a fear that somebody else is um, involved now with you. It's a fear of conflict. I'm going to pull you a fortune cookie just because I can. Sunshine, the sun is shining on you. Career and business growth, fabulous communication and relationships. And there you have it. Okay. I hope this is helpful, guys. I appreciate all your support um, to me and my channel. Um, if you have, if you run across this uh, reading and you haven't subscribed and this resonates with you, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you want a personal reading, that information's in the box beneath the video. Until I see you guys um, in the weeklies, namaste.